So Romero misses weight, and then a little bit more of the story comes out, which is he had, I think it was an hour, he had another hour within his time limit to make weight, and the commission stepped in and said, no, you're done. Hit the scale, uh, and whatever you weigh, you weigh. So Romero misses weight, huge opportunity, but it also it, it comes with a fine, and he was two tenths over. Comes with a fine, he loses some money. I believe it was twenty percent. I, I, some commissions it's ten, and some commissions I've heard as high as thirty. So he takes a beating there, and, and he loses the opportunity. He's going to get the fight, but uh, the world title's not on the line. Which I'll remind you is exactly what happened to him, at least in terms of the weight missing. In his last world title fight, he won the fight, and he's not the world champion. He is disqualified for eligibility to win the world championship, which will affect his life. I mean, right, a title's a big deal. Your legacy and looking back and saying, champion. So it was a big blow, so I don't, I don't really need to kick you well at all. His, his punishment was swift and immediate, and, uh, and he didn't need any of us to second, second judge him after this. It's pretty bad what happened to him, but... Let's have a little conversation here on this most recent one. So the commission comes in and they tell him, hey, you're out of time. Even though the rules say this, we're, we're, we're bypassing the rules and we're making an, an executive decision here on the spot. Whatever you weigh is what you weigh. I don't offer you an opinion on this because I don't have an opinion. There has to be more debate on this topic. A commission's foremost responsibility as they represent themselves their foremost responsibility is to make money. But as they will portray themselves, is for safety. And I saw the video myself of Romero. I mean, he was, he was bent over and he was hurting. And I think that any logical person, just on the optic of it, optics of it, can say, we're done here. I get that. I get it. You've got Romero, go, or Romero going, look, this is never a pleasant situation. But I know exactly where I'm at. I'm a grown man, and I have an hour. I'm going to take my hour. I think just on its surface of the way I laid it out for you, Romero probably comes up short with that argument. You probably go right in line with the commission. And Come on, JL. You, you of all people have to admit what the commission did was messed up, right? Um, this is about the weight cut. What the commission did was messed up. And on top of that, Let's analyze everything. So when I say everything, I mean the last three fights. Yoel missed weight a previous time before, right? Uh, when he missed weight, it was because he was a last-minute entry to a fight in which the previous competitor was uh, injured and he was a substitute. So you can, that one's obvious. But they still made him cut weight, right? They still made him cut weight. His manager even admitted to the fact that the first time they missed weight, it was planned. And um, I just, I wish he didn't use that set of words simply because it makes it seem like everything was pre, you know, they were just Dr. Evil style drawing out a plan to make sure this dude cuts weight or misses weight and all of that. But um, this time... The commission stopped him from cutting down one pound. One. As for this video he's 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 speaking about, I don't know about that. Um, I saw pictures of people sort of semi-carrying Yoel out, holding him by the shoulder and all of that. I don't know if that was footage from the weight cut, but to my knowledge... Apparently, he was fine. He was way better than when he fought Rocco. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. And I peep you, and I lost respect for you when you say you about this culture and this music, because you ain't. The day you feel you can question me, being where you're from, Chevy Chase Maryland graduated in 98. You ain't got no word in this city. It's my city. Any of you radio personalities think you want smoke? Call me Mr. Chimney. I want smoke. You know why? Because you could never, you don't work hard as me, bro. 
You're a sidekick in this city. Sidekick in the morning. Sidekick on your own show. On Complex, you look like a sidekick. Tell Complex to cut me a check tomorrow. Because I made you mad at the night. I'm going to get you some numbers. That show is trash on Complex. You're about the culture, but you bring up that thing, dong chick, to interview. Who you think? We stupid? You think I'm stupid? <laughs>